gonna beat ya. Carolina Marin, the super girl of world badminton. Oh, what a time. Wow. That is absolutely true. <laughs> Great <laughs> setup. Oh. That's exactly what Carolina did on that one. Surely the unthinkable can't happen here, Charmaine. We've got the Vodafone Super Match. We've got the Delhi Aces Jindapal against Hyderabad Hunters. Carolina Maran, the gold medalist last uh, year in Rio. It can't happen, can it? Well, Carolina, she's coming out really strong. Olympic champion, world champion, and she's going to be a tough one to beat. It's an extraordinary story. She actually went out to Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia because she couldn't find support and opposition there but at 23 years old she's got a 3-1 which was a little bit uh, upsetting for her i have to say losing to jung that um, she is uh, she has got very great form there's no doubt about that and uh, i can't see although in the head-to-heads it's 2-1 in favor of uh, marin jindapol actually won in canada doesn't she yes she did she does have great shots she covers the courts very well and fighting out there but uh, She's going to be a tough one uh, to beat uh, Carolina. 25 years of age, uh, playing for Delhi, and uh, definitely uh, a strong one moving around the court. Not actually won the match that she played, of course, but uh, uh, the qualification now. If Marin does lose this, it means that there's going to be a minus one for Hyderabad and a plus one for the opposition. They only need one more point. If she does win, she'll pick up two points. So the deal will be done right there. It's really quite appropriate, isn't it, that the marquee player of the Hyderabad Hunters should have the opportunity to get the point to get into the semi-finals. It would be a fabulous achievement. It is totally expected result, of course, but she's still got to go there. She's still got to do it. And just look at the way she's moving around. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, she has so much power, power in the legs, power in the smash. Just look at the winners on this one. The, the red ones are smash winners, so she really mixes it up. Going down the line, the blue ones are returned, and look at the drops, how many un, unreturned drops she put, puts in. All-round wonderful player. Came from no reputation at all in Huelva in Spain. Marin is now on top of the world. Just look at that footwork. It's magnificent. Even though it touched the tape there, she stayed in the rally. Jinderpol really pushing Carolina all around the court right now, waiting for her opportunity. What an opening rally this is. Oh, oh what an opener. <laughs> Come on, you beauties, let's go. <laughs> That's out of court, and that is one love to Carolina Maran. But what an opening rally. Definitely an amazing rally there, John. If, if we have all those rallies, it's going to be a long match uh, for sure. But Jindapur really reaching, really moving around nice and smooth the whole court, uh, but just out the side. First rally of the match, the Vodafone Super Rally, 34 shots. Brilliant. <laughs> well, Carolyn Marie, she does have that pressure too. She, she's number one, uh, number two right now, but number one in the world. Uh, and. She knows this is so important that she needs to go out there right away and win. Yep, Tai Tzu Ying the, from Chinese Taipei is actually officially at the number one level. But uh, she's such a spectacular player to watch as Caroline. That one's into the net off the drop attempt by Nichon Jindapol. It's too love. There's a lot of love in this uh, country for Carolina, I tell you. She's actually made it known how much the fans have been appreciated by her. And of course, coming from a country where badminton is not the, uh, the top sport by any stretch, she's had to come into Asia, Southeast Asia in particular, to learn the sport, but now stands on the top with a gold medal from Rio. And of course, when you have that reputation, the fans absolutely adore you, and they've certainly done that in India. It's been magnificent. 
Oh, look at that power coming in. That's what she does so well. Sets it up. A big smash coming in, following it up nice and high for the point. Whoa, badminton queen. Well, they obviously, they love their, their heroes and heroines here. Look at the, the Bollywood scene. But I tell you, on the sports side as well, it's, uh, it's very, very important as well. It's, it's such a great, great opportunity for players like this to see real affection. For one, and don't forget that everything is resting on this, a place in the semi-finals. And of course, this is the home team, Delhi Aces, and they're really up against the wall. That is so arrogant, my goodness me. What chances? Was that a 10% opportunity there just converted to 100%? Look at this. What a shot that was. Jindipal couldn't believe it. No, she was looking definitely straight on that one. Beautiful shot by Marin. <sighs> she is absolutely on fire at the moment. She goes to the break. It's 6-1 in the lead. Carolina Marin is doing everything that is required for Hyderabad Hunters. Great work. And there's a coach as well, a personal coach, Rivas. There is the score, 6-1 to Marin. And just extraordinary the way that she has come against all the odds, no heritage in the sport. And of course, uh, we just saw Rivas, who, yeah, there's the many points table. 21, Awad, Mumbai 19, Chennai 18, they've already qualified. Hyderabad with this will take it up to 13 points and then there will be no stopping them. They will get into the, uh, into the semi-finals. But I was just talking about the, the heritage thing. Rivas is actually quoted as saying heritage, the lack of heritage in Spain, has actually been to his benefit because he's had nothing actually to be compared with. Yes, what a great coach. Uh, he's worked very closely to Carolina over the years. I've seen him at tournaments and, and really focused on what to do. But uh, definitely he makes his own plan and it's great to see that, that Spain is coming way up in the world. In 2009, she won the silver medal at the European Junior Championships, becoming the first Spanish badminton player to win a medal ever. So she's just continued with that development. That's the extraordinary thing. OK, a little lift off the backhand that goes wide, but she's got so much money in the bank there. Look at that. 2-7. It was such a thrill to be in Rio and watch her pick that uh, gold medal, although obviously we're in India, so I have to have a, a little moment for PV Sindhu, picked up the silver and she challenged well, my goodness. Yeah, what an amazing match, it was so exciting to uh, call that game as well, but uh, to see PV Sindhu so, be so close to that gold, but to win the silver was incredible and uh, the power in Carolina Marina is, is phenomenal. I think the fact that India has made such progress in badminton of late really, really thrills Carolina as well because she can see a country that's basically overcoming the domination of China so successfully, particularly in the women's game. Yeah, absolutely. You have two amazing players, Saina Navel and PV Sindhu, plus all these men, the depth of it. Ashwini and Jawala too. It's great to see how, how powerful India has come. 
So, a little fight back here by Nichan Jindapol. She's got a 4-7 at the moment, and that is not unusual to see Caroline and Maran talking to herself. <laughs> she really tries to inspire herself. She's uh, very, very good at the psychological side as well. That's out of play for 5-7. You heard the little scream from Jindapol. She was thrilled with that. And there is just that little, just that little door opening here. Just a fraction. Not very much. But at 5-7. Much too easy before. Four points in a row for Jindapol. Jindapol's really looking for the depth right now, trying to move Carolina around the court. She hasn't beaten her for three years, well, four years now, if you count 17. That Canadian victory is a long time ago. That's out of court, that was too ambitious, and she knows how frustrating that is. Yes, when you're working so hard out there, you can't get those easy mistakes, that wasn't even close. Wild shot, really out the side. Long way out, it would have been out of the doubles court as well, no wonder we get that reaction. Yeah, Carolina is so mentally tough, physically tough, very much powerful. It uses that long reach, and it, it's hard to get her off balance. I sat behind her, uh, not during the finals match, but certainly in the preliminary uh, matches, and she actually screams, she grunts as she actually plays those big smashes as well. Very interesting. Oh, great oh, kick by Jindapol. That was really reaching on her backhand. Scrambles over. Well, she, I tell you what, she might have smiled, but that was a fabulous pickup by Jindapol. We're getting close here. Six, eight. <laughs> the great thing about a team event is you, that you are actually living every point on behalf of the player. Good high lift for the serve. Jindapol is playing beautifully, and that's... Ooh, that looked as if it had gone out. Jindapol is really moving beautifully. Just listen to the shout, Jindapol, Jindapol, that's out! It's 7-8! She's putting a bit of pressure on Carolina Moran. She sure is. She's really getting her deep into the corners, mixing up her shots, coming in, just reaching. A lift to the middle and then out the side by oh, Carolina. That was almost as wild as Jindapol's earlier. Just look at Delhi Aces, the home crowd, giving her a lot of encouragement here. And I tell you, she is really, really making an excellent job of challenging. When, when Fernando Rivas is having a, a little word with her in the corner, you know that there's a, a little bit of pressure in the air. Oh, that's eight all, and she is definitely under pressure at the moment. Just look at the way that Ivanov, he's going to be featuring, of course, with Sozanov in the last match. Could they be looking at an extraordinary finish to this uh, this matchup here? Amazing. Yes, definitely didn't reach up on that shot going into the net. Kind of a little off, off focused, I think, right now, but uh, needs to get back on, on beat. She was too early achieving, and of course, that's a dangerous situation. Look at this, eight all, first game. The Trump player. Yeah, don't forget Ashwini did a similar job on her. She has all the shots, she's got all the confidence, but then suddenly a little bit of uh, pressure from the opponent. And the mistakes come out. It's a lovely rally, this. Oh, look at that, it's 9 8. Super work inside out from Mitch on Jindapol, and she's in the lead by 9 8. I wouldn't have said that three minutes ago. <laughs> no, that's right. Jindapol is really Nine. working, uh, doing exceptionally super shot cross court for the points. Wow, look at this. Is that motivated or what? Good girl. Jindapol is really the shot. She's waiting for her time, and, and when she has it, she's really using her angles well. Don't forget Blachino and Pawn Tip in uh, the Thai camp. 
They've always just had that edge on Jinder Paul, so this is a great opportunity. She's got definitely her time in the sun, in the spotlight. Watch out, watch out. She is pushing Carolina all over the court. That's out of play, it's 10-8. Wow, Delhi Aces, what a turnaround. I think Jinder Paul was actually beat on that shot. She was coming to look in on that one, and Carolina, not able to control it, pushed it out the back. Yep, it wasn't lifted. It was a push, and it was too hard, and just look at her. From that real, real confident self at 7-1, I think it was. Now, look at this, 10-8, what a turnaround. Great, great work from Jinder Paul. Yes, that's what she's doing so well, keeping the shuttle in and waiting for her opportunities. Two game points. Nichon Jindapal, the 25-year-old, she is absolutely loving this challenge, this contest. Delhi Aces are not out of this crap. Looking at the scoreboard there, it's game point at the moment to Jindapal, but that's... Excellent recovery as well, it's still in play. This is a great rally, it's in. It's a 9-10, what a marginal decision that was. Brilliant play from Marin to stay in it. But uh, of course, looking at the scoreboard, it's, there's no way that Delhi can actually qualify for the semi-finals. But I know that all of you down in Bangalore at the moment will be very excited at this prospect. Because if, if by any chance they lose this, goes down to uh, a couple of points and then it's all at 11 all it'll be unbelievable we'll see still the story to unfold game point is still there for jinderpol oh she's missed it 10 all whoa now the score goes to two points advantage now this juice position there you go Two point advantage up to 14 all, and then it will be a sudden death at 15 14. We've had several of those. In fact, uh, I, I think we had a, one with uh, Say, Say, Sayna, Sayna Naiwa, and they were actually lost out of 15 14. Yeah, Carolina knows how important this is now. She's lucky, get out of jail card, so she's going to use it. You're going to see the next two points. I think she's going to be totally focused. She might be focused, but she... Ooh, that is... <laughs> I tell you, Jinder Paul has got great ambition, OK? It's 11-10 in favour of Carolina Marin now. But this is wonderful entertainment. She's not short of ambition, is she? Look at that. Great effort. Yeah, she really... Well, there wasn't a hell of a lot more when she actually did the... Um, won the gold. <laughs> She's really up for this. 11-10. Game point, Hyderabad Hunters and Marin. Uh -huh. That's in, that's 11 all. Not yet, Jindapal's not letting her get away with that. Nice attacking, coming in very quick and putting it away. Big reach, straight down and for the point. When Jindapal beat Marin, that was, as I said, four years ago, three and a half years ago, it went to three games and it was 21-18 in the third. So. You know, she's got that uh, little bit of uh, success to fall back on. Uh, it's short at the net, but again, it was too ambitious. Well, Jindapal waited on that one. Her elbow dropped down. You could see it. You can't do a drop shot like that. She needs to reach up. Not enough. Yeah, she tried to, uh, to play that deception. And, of course, it worked against her. Okay, for the second time, Carolina Maran with the game point. And she's going to go to 12 all. Getting quite used to these really tight first gamers. Can we get to 15? Jinnipal really redirecting Carolina on the court, mixing her up in a put away to cross court. Holding that T position is so, so important, and she's done really well there. This is serious stuff, I tell you. Really excellent play. But very, very high service. Oh, beautiful shot. It is a great cut. 
She's competing brilliantly as Jindapal. Look at that for a flat shot. Oh, nice and steady. It's a fantastic rally, 12 ball. Beautiful, beautiful badminton. It's in the net and it's 13-12. And again, Nijan Jindapal is playing out of her skin. What a fantastic rally that was. It was amazing. Jindapal really pushing Carolina into her backhand on that one. Sets it up so well. Just dumping it back to the middle of the court. And this is the one. Gets her caught. Beautiful stuff. And just look at the reaction of the Delhi Aces squad. She doesn't look to be flustered. There's no pressure on her. Look at 34 shots twice. The first one of the whole match was 34 shots. Top rallies of the match. I tell you what, this is a fantastic game. 13-12, the best of entertainment. It was a bit dry last evening. This has really lived up to expectations. Absolutely brilliant. It shows the depth of the, the women's singles. It's incredible in this league. That's around the head and out. What a shame. I'm not, uh, obviously, I'm not in favor of one or the other, but certainly the rallies that we've seen played have been significant. This is a bad error. Yeah, Carolina not giving her enough height to do that shot. She was there, but a little bit too slow. 13 all. You asked for the 15 14 I shot. I did ask I'll, for it. There I'll you go. Let's see if I can deliver it. I'll wave my Harry Potter wand. There you go. If it gets to. Uh, 14 all and it's just a sudden death one point Great. oh it's into the net and if it is going to be a victory for carolina she will definitely get the 15 then again ginger paul watch her elbow not reaching up she needs to reach a little bit more use that speed it's all very dangerous thinking that you've got it in the bag isn't it it's a Beautiful rallies. Big power smash at the body. Great recovery, Carolina. Oh, both ways. It's short, it's 14 all. Oh, we wanted it, we've got it. One more point for the game. And we're going to get that very, very high service from Nichan Jindapal. And you never know, Caroline might just have a little bit of pressure. Let's have a look at this. Can't get any closer than this. What do you reckon? Come on. High serve. Carolina yep. smashes at the body. Jindapal redirects it. I reckon it'll be a drop shot. High serve, drop shot into that forehand corner of Jindapal's. Let's have a look. 14 on. Oh, it's gone deep. It's on the line! Oh, that's it! Oh, was it? Was it? It's oh, on. oh, wow, that is amazing then. 15 14. Was it challenged though? It looks like it is going to play a challenge. Well, in a way, I'm relieved it's a player challenge, but of course, the excitement is already gone from the point. Wow, it was so close. Yes, you have to challenge that one. It's the last point. Why not? But uh, you think it's out? Yeah, oh. it could well be out. Oh. That's a we're, tough one. We're waiting for Hawkeye. It looks. It caught the oh. line, did it? It. Oh my oh, goodness! Can't that get is any closer. Millimeters, and whatever the result of that, it will be the result of the game. Just look at this. Where is Hawkeye? Hawkeye's got it in. Marin's got it in, and Marin takes the game. Wow. Well done, Hawkeye. That makes a difference of a win or a loss. Yeah. <laughs> what excitement there. Fernando Rivas will be absolutely over the moon that she came through. But my goodness me, absolutely brilliant.
Vodafone Premier Badminton League 2 17, powered by Maruti Suzuki. I have to say, that was an extraordinary uh, game of badminton. The women's singles, absolutely live. That is the final point. We had to go, we're at 14 all, had to go to sudden death. And just look at that. The finest of margins, millimeters in it. And I don't know what uh, Spanish was spoken at the, at the break there with Rivas. But, oh, my goodness me, how relieved will she be there? But a big mention here for Nichon Jindapal. Didn't she play absolutely out of her skin? What an amazing match. Yes, both ways it was fantastic rallies. Now, that uh, it's 11 points for Hyderabad. If they win this, they go ahead. They'll be in the semifinals. So a lot of pressure on this match. And Carolina, you could tell, she looks a little bit more relaxed after that first win. Such fine margins. My goodness me, sport is an extraordinary thing, isn't it? A little bit lucky there, lots of touch of the tape. But Sir Caroline in the lead, one love. But she started the first game in commanding position. There's the tape again, my goodness. She did well to recover that. Beautiful one. both ways, excellent shots. I'm really, really pleased. Of course, last season we had a great, uh, several great matchups. But I tell you what, this year the Vodafone Premier Badminton League is absolutely stunning we've had some magnificent series yes every team they're solid teams uh, delhi won last year now they're struggling but every team is almost equal anybody can win and when you get uh, quality players like this playing in your league you know you're in for some fun that's, That's out the play, yeah. I was One, sitting two. down with uh, Carolina and uh, Jan Jorgensen before the tie, and they, they were just saying how great this league has been, the Premier Badminton League. First time for both of them playing, and they're really impressed. Lovely to hear. And it can only get better, of course, with Vodafone signing in for long term. Oh, look at this. <laughs> what a great take, and she's still in the rally. And she could be winning it if she carries on like that. Jindapal is playing incredibly. Beautiful work. That's out of play, isn't it? Yes, it is. 3-1. Yeah, it was. I'm sure it was. Oh, really? It's been called in. Well, but you're right. Jindapal is playing so well. She's covering the court. Great timing for her shots. Cross court. She really mixes it up. Yeah, she knew that that just took the edge again. It's the Trump match. It's called by Carolina. If it's uh, if it's successful, if she wins this match, Hyderabad Hunters go through to the semi-finals tomorrow. You know, a great way to win. Uh, you know, technology it could make a, a difference of the game. So uh, very great to have uh, a little extra to to know where the shots are. Just remind me, what was the call on that final point? Was it called out by the... Uh, it was called judge? out, yes, so it was a challenge, yeah, and uh, so Carolina just, Marine won yeah, it on that. It just... Uh, it actually just proves your point then. I wouldn't want to be a linesman. Everything happens so quick, it, it's just great to, if you miss it, uh, that you can challenge. There's a huge amount of variety in these rallies. Again, Ginger Paul bringing it into the middle of the court. If she does that, she cuts down the angles. So Carolina coming in on that one. Struggled a little bit because, you know, you can't go cross. And into the net. Another interesting thing here, and I just realized, is that um, there are only two trumps allowed to be played by an individual player in these uh, preliminary matches. So they've saved Carolina Moran's trump until this moment, and it could prove absolutely vital. It's short there, it's 4 all. Yes, yeah, a team event, that's a different kind of pressure than Carolina's used to. At the Olympic Games, of course, that's huge pressure, but in a team event, it's just a bit different, and then plus the trump. It's good format. We've had some very, very great matches. Just look at that, some wonderful coverage as well, I have to say. The host broadcaster has done a fabulous job. That's out of play, and that's 5-4. Jindapal has a really nice racket. If you watch her, she comes in nice and quickly, just holds it a little bit, a little bit of a fake, but that's out the back. If you can get your opponent just stopping and thinking for that one quick second, you can throw someone off. There's the unforced errors count, and unfortunately, 
for Jindapal. She's on the wrong end of it. Beautiful shot. Yeah, good stuff. Fabulous rally. They go to the break at 6 4. And again, Carolina Mallon finds a way to uh, be in the lead. When you're on the pedestal, like uh, Carolina Marin is, everybody is aiming to take you off. And there is the Vodafone super fan of the tie. You have to say that uh, Vodafone have done a fantastic job in support. And I tell you, when we get matches like this, we are delighted. There you go from Marin smash placement, Charmaine. Well, definitely de back the deep backhand, 62% going on, on that one uh, return, but uh, definitely that's her favorite spot. Coming at the body only a few times and a little to the right, but look at the, from behind. I think the backhand uh, smash is obviously more difficult to return and you can actually follow it up. The most important thing is following it up and then uh, killing it with the second attempt. Well, sometimes reaching out on your backhand too, you might, usually you lunge with your racket foot, but sometimes you just step really quick and uh, can do different uh, options going cross as well with that. That's out of play for 8-4. I was mentioning as we came back from the break that, uh, you know, she's in a situation where she's been ultimate achiever as the gold medalist, but of course, then everybody, everyone wants to take you off that pedestal. Absolutely, John. It's a different pressure. It's everybody's kind of gunning for you. You have a lot to lose and, and not much to win to stay up there, but uh, definitely a different pressure. And she's mentally tough, but uh, always has to go out to try to win. Two more points, and she would have brought her team through then. This is the most important thing, and that's why she's enjoyed it so much. I've seen her having a lot of fun with the Tans from Malaysia, and certainly she might have even picked up a few uh, words of Bahasa because uh, she certainly has had some giggles there really really good excellent atmosphere absolutely and to be thrown in the mixed doubles as well that was probably uh, very different for Carolina we're getting close we are getting close it's a beauty and the fact Jindapol went shaped up to go and get the backhand but it came down the line that is 10-4 and if you can uh, cast your mind back 10-4 over and out, wasn't it? That yeah, was that's the... right, big buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Carolina really putting the pressure on now. Here we go, match point. That's big ambition there. This is qualifying point for Hyderabad Hunters. There it is! 11 points to four. Caroline Maran and uh, Hyderabad Hunters have gone into the semi-finals here in Delhi. Is that a delight? You betcha. Yeah, absolutely. Now they're qualified. Marin was very patient in that one. Used her attack well, waited for the opportunity, and put it away. And you have to say, well done, obviously. Great, great win for Carolina. It was expected, but uh, Jindapal, what a great match she played as well. 15-14, that was the moment. The millimeters, the millimeters between calling out and in, amazing. Yes, Ginger Paul played super in that first game, unbelievable, but Carolina with a big smash to win. Yeah, there's the excitement. There was pressure on, not just individual, as you said, it's all about team. But what a, what a future star we've got right there. Nitran Jindapal took full advantage of her time in the sun. 
Right, well, I know that we've uh, we've got now the tie score with that trump play, double the points involved. Hyderabad Hunters with a 4-2 goes up, and we'll have a look at the league table. We've now got four cues in a row right now because they have all come through. There you go. A one at the top. They're not going to be overtaken, but Hyderabad at 13. I have uh, come as the final match there. Yeah, that's very, very impressive. So we know our semi-finalists with just one match to come. Let's go down to Siddharth because he's got a delighted Carolina with him. Hyderabad Hunters have officially made it into the semi-finals. That's the big news. Thanks to the Trump win by Carolina Marine. Carolina, you all have made it through. Your first thoughts. Yeah, it was a really good game, and uh, I think the most important thing is the uh, Hyderabad Hunters team. Just keep in mind that they, we really want to qualify for the semi-final, and we made. So it was uh, for all the team. Just talking about that match, Carolina, 14 all, millimeters in, as Hawkeye showed us. Was that the most important point of the match? I think every point is really important, not the, the last point in the first set. I think every point is really important. Carolina, everybody is speaking at the right time. Satvik, Chahuiwa, you have delivered. How is the morale in the team going into the semi-finals? Yeah, we have a really good uh, fighting spirit and uh, we have to keep going. We still have uh, one more match and we want to, to win. So I wish you good luck for the men's double, guys. You're playing either Mumbai, which has Sung Ji Yoon, who's the only player you've lost to, and Avad, Sainan Hewal, who you have beaten. Any preferences for tomorrow? No, I just uh, looking forward for the semi-final and uh, of course the Hyderabad Hunter team will do our best. And we wish you all the best. Thank you for speaking to us and congratulations once again. Thank you, Sid. Up and thank you. Well done, Sina. That's uh, the next match coming up. It's uh, going to be a battle of the Russians. Eva and Sosnov against Tan and Tan.